Christoph Frey, Senior Director at the World Economic Forum and Head of Energy Industries. Uh, you've just collaborated on a new report entitled Solving the Energy Puzzle Through Innovation. Could you tell us more about what the energy puzzle actually is? Well, three points there. I think, first of all, we have huge growth in population, world population. Today we are 6.4. We're going up by 2030 to 8 billion people. Second, energy security is certainly of huge concern to all of us. And third, climate change. Everybody has recognized this is a major issue. Those three define a triangle where we need action. And energy is in the middle, of course, of that triangle. So what exactly are the key pieces to solving the energy puzzle? Well, there is no one big solution to it. There, I think the solution must come from many places. And the consumer, the behavioral change on the consumer side is, is one element. The learning for, of the energy industry from other sectors, well, how has innovation affected those sectors? How have they implemented the sector? Also to learn from innovation from those sectors directly. And finally as well, the, the delivery of innovation in, within technology, we can think about the second generation, biofuels, etc. All those elements have to be part of the puzzle. So the, f the report really focuses on the role of, of innovation. Could you just tell us a bit more about this? Well, I think the, just to make it specific, we could imagine a, a situation, let's, let's, let's think of a consumer. A consumer today doesn't know how much he consumes. Let's imagine he suddenly has an access, an emotional access to what he consumes and when he consumes his kind of an iPod of the energy. Let's assume he not only knows exactly how much he consumes, but he also understands whether this is too much and kind of to be sustainable or not. This could trigger behavioral change, could trigger behavioral change. Now let's assume the same consumer lives actually in a city where he can, he can have an impact. He can have an, an impact by deciding to produce himself some of the energy in a perhaps more expensive but more sustainable way. He can become part of a system, an electronet or a smart grid, or, um, to kind of be part, become part of the solution, not only a consumer. Those kind of are elements, again, that we could envisage. So why has the forum uh, been instrumental in putting together a report that looks specifically at, at solutions to the growing energy crisis? Well, let's first remember the mission statement of the forum, which is improving the state of the world. Here we are talking about energy security and climate change. Both are major public goods that we are, have to be uh, interested in kind of improving. Now, this the, the issues that we are addressing are, of course, in line with that. We bring leaders together. We bring leaders together to think about possible ways to get a hand on those problems. And we, the report, of course, tries to summarize the key findings from, from those discussions. And just one final question. You talk about key findings, solutions, proposals. What is the, the next step from here? Well, innovation is a never-ending story. We have... Of course, we cannot just say now we have to report we, that, that the job is done. We have to um, continue and follow through um, further developments, and we have also to make sure actually that the findings reach the decision makers, and that, hence that's the reason why we are publishing the report now.